All right, um, this is my bus. It's a 1997 GMC. Uh, it's a diesel engine. It has 157,000 miles on it. And I converted it into a tiny house. What's your name? Cody, Cody Duvall. Uh, I'm from Syracuse, New York. And I've lived in this for about two months. Um, the lattice work I got from Actually, 90% of it I got from Hurricane Irma. People were just throwing it away. Um, the paint was probably the most expensive. That was $60, and that was, uh, it's like RV paint, oh, I yeah, guess. Oh, yeah, roof paint. Yes, yeah. And this is it. There's not much for the outside. Um, a local painter in the Keys of Florida painted it. So the paint was all, Matt G is the guy that painted it. <laughs> um, I still need to finish painting the bottom, but I need to take the stickers off before I can paint it. I just want to do it right. And it's got a security camera, but it's not connected to anything yet. So, there's that. I know it's got a mustache on the front. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've lived in it for about two months. Uh, I bought it right before the hurricane. I was making payments on it. I bought it for $3,000. Um, it was for sale for $4,500, but I worked with the guy and did yard work for him and worked for him and made payments. And this is what it looks like so far. It's not complete, but it's, uh, it's getting there. And I don't know. All right. Um, the steps are from an old sailboat. I work on boats for a living, but they're not screwed in yet. But when they are, they'll lift up and go inside, right? Um, this is cool. It's a wood stove made out of an old propane tank. Um, no welding, it's just kind of bolts. And this is all stuff from a grill that people were throwing away. And so is the front of this. And I can heat up water on this little plate right here and it heats so easily, so fast. These are all gutter pieces, but they hook right here, and then I just put it out the window to get the smoke on. Um, this is all pallet wood. That was free. And these I got from a lady that lives in a van. These are uh, Buddhist prayer flags. So I thought they were pretty cool. The, uh, the wood, lumber liquidators was throwing away. I don't know why, but it was almost enough for the uh, bus, except I don't have right here or right there, but it's okay. Um, this, oh yeah, okay, so I have cabinets that open and close. I got some pancake mix in there. <laughs> um, and then I have lights. The lights are wireless LED lights that I bought at Walmart for like 20 bucks. And I have a camp stove and a fridge. And the water jugs, the sink isn't connected yet, but the sink I got from a sailboat that someone was throwing away. But eventually this is gonna connect to here and that's gonna be black water. And then I'm gonna have this connected up to here when I get the faucet connected. I have a faucet right here, but when I put this in, it's going to go right there. And I have a water pump that I'm gonna, just going to plug into that. And I haven't built the wall yet, but I have a blanket. It works for now. Get your hammock? Yes, I got the hammock. I got the hammock for 20 bucks at Walmart. And it's cool. It just kind of disconnects like this. And I can leave it like this while I drive so it's not in the way. But for right now, I'm going to leave it up. Um, I got this toilet. I haven't used it yet because from here to here, I'm going to build a shower and I want to wait until the shower is built so I can use the toilet, but it's just kind of like a two part system. This pulls out. It'll work. Yeah. And then this bottom part, you just take and dump wherever. And then it's connects back there. It goes right there. Um, I got my longboards and my guitar. The bed is on a giant hinge. Just kind of lifts up. 
There's a bunch of storage underneath, yeah. Um, closet. I don't know. I got a closet with these little things. All drawers. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I have this light. This light's cool. I don't know what. Yeah. Um, I have the. This is my washing machine. It's made out of two Home Depot buckets, and it's pretty cool. So the first bucket is just a regular bucket, and then the second has a bunch of holes drilled in it. And then I have a plunger with a bunch of holes drilled in it. And you just put the clothes in there with your detergent and just like that, wash clothes like an Amish person. And then I just hang them up to dry. Sweet. But it's still a work in progress. Eventually I'm gonna have solar on the roof and a shower right there. Um, probably cabinets up there where it's all messed up and cabinets up here. But for right now, it does its job. Hmm. Very cool. And this is it. Yeah, all right, man. <laughs> Check it yeah. out. Yeah, thank you. Hey, definitely living this with no problem. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, where are you from? Where are you, where are you living here? Where are you living? Um, I just I mean, kind of park. Or? Yeah, I live in Daytona, Ormond Beach. Yeah. Pretty much wherever I park it. Home is wherever you park it, I guess. Yeah. So. Sweet. Yeah. You've done a lot in three months. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's getting there. Cool. I like it a lot. And this is my bus. Medusa. <laughs> yeah, this is my bus, Medusa. It's pretty cool. I can dig it. <laughs> All right. <laughs>